when I was a market gardener and buying cucumber seeds from the seed catalogs, I would often run into a problem with downy mildew in my garden and the cucumbers would just die for no reason. And I live in the desert. You know, why, why should some wet disease be happening? But it was happening fairly frequently. And another problem I had with the seed catalog cucumbers is they would be bitter. Even though they were advertised as non-bitter, they get up here to my dry climate and the low humidity, the alkaline soil, or whatever it was, and they'd get bitter because of, of the stress of growing. So I've been growing landrace cucumbers for about maybe 10 or 12 years now. And my original sources were the Long Island Seed Project, uh, Ken Etlinger. He made a Grex uh, of different kinds of cucumbers. I also got some of my original cucumbers from Alan Bishop in Pekin, Indiana, which was also a Grex. And then I planted the normal cucumbers that my father would plant, like the, the straight eight and the market more. And I did my usual thing of just planting those all together and saving seeds of, and seeing what survived. One thing I noticed about cucumbers is there's like three different kinds of cucumbers. There's the pickling cucumbers, which are short and squat. And there's the, the long cucumbers like you buy at the store. And then there's the super long cucumbers that you buy at the store that might have a different kind of skin on them that's kind of fuzzy. The first thing that I did was eliminate those blocky pickling cucumbers because I didn't like using them in the kitchen. And they would get too big for me before I harvested them for canning. And all of those cucumbers with the fuzzy skin that were long, they just they just died out. They just weren't suitable for this climate. And so I was left with the long slicing cucumbers. And they work perfectly well for a bottle too, as long as you pick them like every other day so you keep them small. I don't see powdery mildew anymore since the second or third, well, since the second generation. So I have a question from a collaborator about starting a cucumber land race. And she says that some years she gets zero harvest from the cucumbers because they succumb to the fungal diseases or, or whatever's going on in the ecosystem. Other years she doesn't have those problems. And so how do you go about saving seeds when it's so erratic? To answer that, I would say, if you get zero seed production, you can't have a land race. Eventually, you have to be saving seeds in order to develop a land race. And so on those years, when the cucumbers do produce a crop, they are providing local adaptation to the soil, to the farmer's habits, to the sunshine, to the general humidity. And so they are becoming locally adapted during those years to a whole range of conditions, even if they succumb the next year to the fungal stuff. After two or three generations of surviving just the general ecosystem, I find that they're much stronger and better capable of surviving, you know, an unusual condition like a super rainy season or a super dry season. In the case of a good year when nothing dies, the plants are still self-selecting because the more healthy plants are producing more seeds, they're producing more pollen, they're putting themselves out into the population in greater numbers. Select during those years, if you like, for flavor. My general experience is that the ecosystem does 80% of the selection, whether or not I'm involved in it at all. And then I get to play with things like flavor and color and, and growth habit with that extra 20%. Cucumbers are really suitable for land race gardening because they're an outcrossing species. Not only outcrossing, but highly outcrossing. And so they become locally adapted really quickly.